Right, I think we're there now. Fed the cats while I was out, so that should be them hopefully sorted. Now, for all that's in the world, I need to restart track IR first. There's no way I'm flying without track IR. Nico, FSW multiplayer. FSW. <laughs> Right, that's the track I will see it up. Flight Sim World, where are you? There you are. See you later, Emma. <laughs> yeah, we'll do, Dave. Oh, look, something's starting. Excellent. I haven't loaded this up in a while, so... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick flight in the Warbird and then decide whether I'm going to use the Warbird in the multiplayer flight. So if you've got flights in world, warm it up and start having a look around, work out where we're going to fly. I'm going to fly this around Rochester just because uh, that's where uh, that's where I know. Yeah, the Curtis P40F Warhawk. That's the kiddie. Watch the P-40s swing. It wants to go everywhere you don't want it to. Yeah, I saw Amy flying it, or trying to. The bit I saw of the stream, it seemed like she was just flying, um, <laughs> going around the ground, but I missed the flight. Yeah, I could do some acrobatics in the Warbird, that's fine. It was good, was it, Ayrton? There it is. Right, so let's do free flight aircraft P40F config. I think here I can choose liveries. That's Amy's one. That's the blue sky one. All metal. That's Trixie. Rosanoff 209 has got the shark teeth. That's the American one, I guess. Miss Alma. So if you want shark's teeth, it's that one. Weather conditions, let's just keep it uh, uh, fair weather, I think, just to keep it easy. Uh, we'll set cold and dark, set our departure airport. EGTO, Vigan Hill, seems like a reasonable test flight, just basically fly west, all good to go, press that big start button, I turned the music off Ayrton, <laughs> 
I usually turn music off in most games when I stream them. Yeah, it's just a short flight, Moggy. It won't be five minutes by the time I finish getting lost. Why can't the game be used for educational purposes? Because it's not a training simulator. It's a home entertainment simulator. The same as train simulator is a home entertainment. There's a very big difference between a simulator which is built and tested to be a um, suitable for um, full aviation training or railroad training or anything like that. Um, right then. Oh, it's that thing I need to click, I think. All right. Canopy open. Battery switch. Parking brake. Carburetor heat. Rudder trim, three units right. Three units right? I don't understand what that means. Apparently that's close enough though. Elevator trim, one unit aft. So what's it think is running? There we go. Idle cut off. Is it not? That is it at idle cut off, isn't it? <laughs> Hi NTJ Mastermind, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Oh here we are, we are okay. Electric prop switch. To auto. It, it is auto, isn't it? Oh no it isn't. I can't see how I'm supposed to move it. Apparently it is set correctly now. Fair enough. Uh, propeller control. Full increase. Cowl flaps open. Fuel selector front wing. H2. Fuel boost pump. An inch open. Three primer strokes. Fuel boost pump. Ignition. Master.
not convinced the joystick's doing anything. Clearly that is. But I don't think the joystick's doing anything. Oh dear, where are the controls? Ailerons. Oh dear, uh -oh. why are you not working? not plugged in properly that's why it was plugged in enough for the lights to all come on but not enough to do anything that anyone wanted it to do what you need me to start it all over again oh come on what it's running though I think it got confused somewhat. Yes, I am doing multiplayer tonight, Ralph. Fan. I just want to have a play with this first. Oh, the canopy was still open. That probably wouldn't help. Why is that not in the startup procedure? What do you mean fail? I think I was just a bit too uh, rough on the throttle there.
think what we'll do is we'll come out of this flight and we'll take the startup procedure off because we don't want to do that again. That's fun once. Turn that off. Start her up again. That was worth waiting for. It was awesome, wasn't it? That was awesome. This is what you come here for. I've got no idea, Ralphan. going everywhere. <laughs> Reckons I can press control. <laughs> Don't press control to start it when the propeller's buried in the ground, apparently. As soon as I apply any amount of throttle, it just disappears off to the left. I mean, I had the rudder full over on the right. Pull the stick back to lock the tail wheel. Oh, that's not a bad shout, Moggy. Okay, yeah. Seriously, so far to the right, so far to the left. What am I doing wrong here, folks? What am I doing wrong here? I cannot get this thing into the air. It suggests I've got a surface set wrong or somehow. It's like it's lifting itself up and just stalling. I heard, the st I heard something that sounded like a stall alarm. Can't believe this thing's got a stall alarm. <clears throat> that was with the stick pulled full back, Moggy. It made no difference at all. You're <laughs> doing nothing wrong. This is great. Ah, shush. Let's do it from the outside to see what makes sense. All right, we've got that control, that control, and that control. Good. Let's try a normal plane, just to double check the joysticks. That's not a bad shout. Let's, let's try a different plane. Let's just rule out whether or not the joysticks are doing it. Mind you, the surfaces look fine, so... Over-controlling. Well, it wouldn't surprise me. We'll go one more time.
I am so getting bored of this thing. <laughs> I've never had a problem getting a plane off the ground. Ever. <laughs> One more go and then we get on with the multiplayer and we do something different. Well, Moggy said to pull back, train guy, to put pin, pin the wheel on the ground. So that's why I've been doing that. Because initially I wasn't. Touch and break. Hang on a minute, look at that tail rotor. That tail. That tail wheel was on an angle. Look at it. As I accelerate, the tail wheel goes onto an angle. Okay, it's not anymore. I've even got the torque roll, though, there you can see the torque on that one. I don't think I'm ever going to get this thing in the air. cone up. Was I going even going faster? I don't think I was going fast enough to get the tail cone up, was I? I wasn't holding the door joystick back, I don't think. Maybe I was doing that subconsciously. They'll, they'll be fine, Dave. They'll be fine. So I'm not holding the joystick back. Gently apply power. A bit more power to get moving. Stop going that way! I'm not holding it back. Why is it going sideways?
Hello! Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't understand the flight dynamics of this. That made no sense to me at all. I'm going to assume that my joystick is not set up or something. I don't think gear up's really the, the main problem we've got to worry about, Stalin Spears. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to change a different plane. I'm bored of that one now, frankly. <laughs> Let's try a different plane and see if we have the same problem. All right, back to there. Yes. Indeed. Uh, I'm using the X52 Pro. Let's go with um, the uh, DA40. Well, you set the trim as part of that startup, um, the train guy. Although I wonder if it was down to... The first thing they did to get you to do is set that rudder trim. Mind you, the rudder trim was supposed to presumably counteract the um, the engine forces. Oh, I wonder if it's that rudder trim. So we're completely centred. All control surfaces are working and in normal positions. Flies a bit nicer. circuit land and then we'll um, think about a uh, it's almost certainly not the plane it's how I'm flying it and I just don't know how to to get that thing in the air because it's a, you know you're talking about a massive engine on a tiny airframe it's gonna have massively different dynamics than this which is a moderate engine on a larger airframe well, it's probably a small engine actually all, it's all told No, this is flying dead easy, Axel. Good night, Dave. That's not the Thames, that's the River Medway. No, I did the fly under the bridge just to prove I had. I do have some modicum of quite fine control over the aircraft. <laughs> not because I'm all entirely insane.
to go straight and level. Ish. Night box. Of course, now I don't know where the airport is. <laughs> Oh, there's Rochester Airport, just over there. No, Flight Sim World actually runs on the um, FSX engine. Same engine as FSX, it's had a lot of um, tweaks and improvements for various things. It's not the same engine, it's built a lot of improvements, so it's based on that. Good night, Stein's beard. Across the A2 or the M2 at that point, isn't it? Let's get a multiplayer session going, shall we? Oh. Too many wires, and they're pressing all the buttons on the keyboard. That's better. Uh, I'm going to fly. Uh, I think you'd keep to the Diamond Star, actually. 
We'll go with uh, fair weather so we can see what we're doing. I don't know, where do we want to fly? We've flown in Australia, I don't know if we've flown in Australia before. You know what, let's just stick to where we are, just to keep it simple. We'll go to Biggin Hill, Gatwick, no we won't go to Gatwick. Dunsfold, Goodwood. 27 minutes. Can carry on. Let's go to Bournemouth. Dunk as well. That's an hour. No, I don't want to fly for an hour. <laughs> Be here all night. Go around Bournemouth. That'll do. Forty-five minutes is a nice flight. Good. Um, Sessions up, or it will be any by the time you hear this. <clears throat> I'll give it a couple of minutes for people to join in at the beginning and then we'll get going. You can join in once we're running. Hey, Finn Mobbin. Rail fan. Uh, Finn Marvin, by the way, I sent you a message on Discord, uh, a direct message. If you can reply to that, that would be very useful. Thank you. There is no um, jets in Flight Sim World as yet, Sprinter. Oh, everybody's gone. Something I said. Right, anyone can join. You don't have to wait. You can just get on and join now. Oh, it might need now to wait until it's finished loading ES64.
This is the has it crashed or hasn't it loading screen. Work's been great for you, uh, Ben. It's been great. chance to get in, I'm just going to uh, fly like a nut for a bit. Try reconnecting now then, now that the game is loaded, it, uh, Marvin. Fan is in, I think. Crucible. clipped the tree look I clipped the fact I didn't even clip the tree <sighs> don't <laughs> right let's being a twit Uh, run it. Yeah, controls only seem to be giving me trouble on one plane, yeah. Go. 
Good night, Morikam. Hey, Finn Marvin's in. Right, let's get in the air and go. Will do, real fan. Calm down and wait for everyone to get in. Let's try and find Ralph and where is he? I can't see you anywhere, real fan. No, it says you've left the game. I'm going to go on and fly. You got a DA forty two should be easily be able to catch up with me. <laughs> Square thing on the right hand side of my headset. Well this thing, it's the USB cable powering the track IR because the battery's flat.
first destination is. I can't see how far it is away. So we've got 46 minutes in total. Tony, uh, this is Flight Sim World. See you later, Gadger. Alright, I'll have to have a look then. It was working fine. We've had multiplayer on here before without any problems, so... Somewhere over the Atlantic. <laughs> um, no idea. I do love the scenery of Flight Sim World, it just looks so de densely detailed. You're in, Finn Melvin. Runway. I'm going to come off to the right so that I can vector in properly. Well, it's not really properly, it's not following the, um, the star at all, but... Tony, um, I actually work for the company that makes this, so I'm probably not the right person to ask for an opinion. Um, if you're asking anyway, then yeah, I do like it. I have a lot of fun playing this. 
apparently as long as it's not the warbird. Uh, yes, it is multiplayer. We're trying to get multiplayer working at the moment. It has been working fine, but for some reason today it's decided that it won't. I thought you don't see eye to eye now. Well, if no one can join the multiplayer, then I might shut the multiplayer down and go back to the P40, because I'm kind of determined to figure it out. hill to the uh, south of us there. I wouldn't know how to do that, Ben. If that's what's required, I'm, I'm never going to get it. Good night, Ralph Ann. Oh, good shout, Axel. Yeah, I'll have to check my route. I wonder if I haven't played flights in multiplayer since the last time I upgraded, when I upgraded the firmware, which means maybe the pass-throughs aren't set up. So I need to uh, have a look at that and see whether or not I've just goofed it up on this side.
Let's come out of here then. What I think I'm going to do is set up a free flight. I'll change this to the P40. And we'll do it at Biggin Hill. No cold and dark nonsense to deal with. <sighs> Would your controllers, you mean like the Xbox controller, that sort of thing? Probably, but I kind of want to get it to work on the proper controls. Or I'll say the, the, the flight sticks that I've got for it specifically. What's the takeoff speed of this thing? Hey, that was better. That was better. I think I, I've got the elevator trim, I think I've got wrong. <coughs> right, that's now centered. So the elevator trim is now centered, so hopefully that'll be out of the way. So I'm using the this gauge here. Uh, the turn indicator, the bubble there, is giving me a good indicator actually of how to keep it a bit more centered. And then I'm just using gradual increases of throttle to uh, Wings off to the left. Wow. Okay, so what's the what's the does anyone know what the v uh the rotate speed is in this thing because i think I'm, it's just stalling
it's on for summer in the air. That didn't appear to go down well. That's intriguing. I pulled up and I think I guess it did that and lost it. What did I do differently? I had no idea. Just did it better, I guess. that didn't work well maybe I need a bit more height for that <clears throat> it doesn't like doing that <laughs> I thought we I thought we got the self to where we were pointing down and we had air under the wings again so I pushed the engine forward and we had nothing <laughs> nothing at all still it's an opportunity to practice the takeoff again there again or I'm just gunning it I'm because I'm, I'm building the throttle up and I wonder if it's just you've got to bring that throttle up slowly I'm not lifting it off the ground intentionally Ben I am not lifting it off the ground intentionally. It's bringing itself off the ground and stalling immediately.
Jeez, this thing is just insane. If I can land it in the water, feels like that'd be easier than the trying to get it on the ground. This thing does seem to be sensitive to the dip problem that cuts the engine out. It's such a different aircraft to fly compared to the other ones. I mean, the other ones are, are relatively similar, but this one is such a different beast. It's just uncontrollable. <laughs> I think people went into combat with this thing. Should I be taking off with flaps? Suddenly dawns on me. Elegant, but it's in one piece. 
Unfortunately, I've only got all or nothing brakes. <laughs> Stopped, we can get out. Excellent. They have seen where they were going. So they asked the way round, would they? No! Trigger touch the uh, the brakes and that's it. So this thing really needs something set Maybe I need to set my throttle pedals up on the steering wheel up so that they act as the um, differential brakes. So I've crashed, but it doesn't think I've crashed. Wake up, come on, let me out. Right, we'll have one more go, I think. Well, I think, I, I like the fact that it's really different to fly than the other ones. It feels like that's completely appropriate. Um, I've no idea if it's right. I'm assuming it's right. Um, but it's, um, yeah, that's, this is, this is a, uh, this is like the equivalent of a pro, uh, the pro trains on, um, train sim essentially. She just takes off on her own. Yeah, 
dead easy to take off with flaps. <laughs> Steady on, come on. fuel level is critically low. Whoops. This could be a short flight, folks. Where the heck is Biggin Hill gone? This. Oh yeah, I've, I've, I've sort of I know the principle of the tail draggers, but putting it into practice is entirely a different thing. Because the thing is, I'm used to oh there it is, still running away. I'm used to kind of coming down with a flare, but you don't f so much flare tail draggers, do you? Otherwise, you tend to land with the wrong wheel the little one on the back that breaks very easily. The way that I heard it described a long time ago on a uh, flight sim forum was Landing a tail dragger is basically a controlled crash. Oh, I stalled it. Come on. Out you come, out you come. Thank you.
So I guess what you're doing is you're getting it to where you've got a pinpoint on the on the runway that stays stationary. You then adjust your throttle essentially to bring the VSI up to give you the right landing vertical speed. Except that that didn't work. stuttering there. Dioxide, how's it going? Oh, hang on, it's adjusting fuel levels as I turn. So it's like they're sloshing away from the sensor. Checking my gears down. <laughs> oh, stole it, stole it. No, she's in. Ah oh, well. <sighs> Tricky one. Tricky one. Right then, folks. Thanks very much for watching. That's it for tonight. <laughs> on that note, <laughs> and I'll see you later on. Cheers, everyone. Bye bye.